Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare a Renaissance recipe, toasted bread with guanciale, sage and onions. The main ingredients are bread e guanciale. Guanciale is an Italian cured meat made with pork cheek. Then we need sage, butter, white wine vinegar, onion and the spices, black pepper, cinnamon and sugar. First we cut the bread. The author of the recipe suggests using one day old bread. We chose to use a bread made without salt, a traditional bread made since the Middle Ages in Tuscany, to balance the saltiness of the guanciale. We pick the sage tops and we finally mince the onion. We use half an onion for two slices of bread. Then we grind the sugar and the spices in the mortar. We need uh, just a little sugar to balance the vinegar and the saltiness of the guanciale. We use uh, white cane sugar, a common ingredient in the Renaissance cookbooks. Despite the similarities with dishes such as bruschetta and crostini, usually considered of poor origins, this plate was served on the richest tables of the Renaissance. This recipe is part of the most influential cookbook of the 16th century, written by Bartolomeo Scappi, who worked as personal cook for two popes. The author uses butter in this recipe, an unusual ingredient in the Italian recipes of the previous centuries. Butter was produced and used in Italy since ancient Roman times, but we find it frequently in the cookbooks starting from the Renaissance. However, Scappi gives us the option of using pork fat back instead of butter. Now we toast the bread with butter. Then we render the fat of the guanciale and we add the sage, onion, vinegar and the spices and sugar. When the onions are browned, we are ready to plate. We serve the bread with onions, one slice of guanciale and sage on top. A quick dish with a complex and well-balanced flavor. A simple way to enjoy the taste of the Renaissance.